And we're live guys, welcome to another episode of Good Morning Crypto, only here, only on Ivan on Tech. We are of course broadcasting live straight out of Stockholm, Sweden, and we do the show each and every day at 8 a.m. Central European Summertime. Guys, today will be a very important episode because there's so much misinformation happening. There's so much misinformation and uh, unfounded hype going on about Apple right now. And in many, in many cases, it is completely wrong. We need to discuss really what CryptoKit is because the whole crypto community right now is fooled. It is not what people think it is. <laughs> it is absolutely not. Many people are running around uh, saying that Apple is going to launch a cryptocurrency because they released CryptoKit uh, at their conference, WWDC. And it is actually not what most people in crypto think, unfortunately. But we do have a lot of news about uh, Facebook's uh, cryptocurrency and the fact that it might launch later this month, which would be insane, by the way. The speed would be absolutely insane because we just started talking about it a few months ago and already they are basically ready to launch this month, they say. Uh, not they say, but pe uh, people say and reports say uh, who have insights. But first of all, I want to discuss really what happened to Apple because this is the main uh, topic I want to focus on and really we need to learn so much from this situation because this misinformation uh, misguides a lot of people. This information really puts everyone off track and we need to understand what really happened and what is the future of Apple and what they're actually doing in crypto with CryptoKit because CryptoKit in itself is a valid project. I mean, I mean it is a valid library, so to speak. But guys, Amazing to see you here once again. I see Jorgen, I see Sean, I see Robin, I see Kels, MSC82, PB. Extremely welcome, everyone. You have to number one, smash the like. Number two, share the stream. If you heard anyone talk about Apple launching their own crypto because they released CryptoKit, they need to see this video ASAP because they are being uh, manipulated and fooled, to be frank. Now, before we start, remember that we have a webinar in a few days. We will uh, teach you how to make money in the bear market, how to make money without risk investments, and how to get a job in crypto, uh, which is very important if you really want to change the world within this industry. Completely free webinar, check in the description. Looking at the market, what do we have? Uh, Bitcoin, 0.6%. Green, very good. Ethereum, 1.3%. Green, good. So we have a few green numbers. Looking at the top, you have Solve. <laughs> Yeah, let's look at that. 63%. Congratulations if you if you manage to to catch this pump, but be very careful right now. Who knows how it will dump? Uh, G GX chain 25%, Chainlink 16%. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have we have this winners. Congratulations if you were able to profit from this situation right here. Now, looking at the top uh, losers, we have Monocoin, Maxim Coin, Bitcoin SV down to $200. Still a lot of uh, a lot of gains for people who bought at $50. Uh, so not very good if you have these coins today and you got in like yesterday. Okay, let's talk about the topic. Let's talk about what's actually happening and what I really wanted to cover today. Because Many people are discussing Apple and many people are discussing Apple Crypto Kit. So you see articles like this all over the crypto web. Everyone is being excited about Crypto Kit and iOS 13, the fact that they're releasing this uh, library for iOS 13. And people are talking about the fact that, hey, they're going to make it easier to develop uh, wallets. Now all wallets are going to come to iPhone and you're going to have basically the possibility to run a, a a full secure wallet on your uh, on your phone and that wallet will be able to use the cryptography provided by apple and you know we need to take a step back and understand what crypto kit really is and really before we do that we also need to take maybe two steps back and understand that crypto does not stand for cryptocurrency <laughs> i mean uh, originally crypto stands for cryptography and this is also why if you go this is quite funny and this is uh, <laughs> this is why it's so important to talk about it if you go to reddit slash r slash crypto you will end up on this um, on this Reddit thread. It is about cryptography, but this Reddit thread is being bombarded by people uh, from the crypto community. Basically, people talking about price, people talking about announcements, people talking about Justin Sun, people talk about Tron. I mean, all of these crazy things. People talk about it in our crypto because they think it is, it is a, a subreddit for crypto. But in reality, this is a subreddit for cryptographers doing serious math, working with cryptography. <laughs> so it is quite funny 
So the first thing they have right here is that, hey, crypto is not cryptocurrency. And you can go to cryptoisnotcryptocurrency.com to learn more. <laughs> <laughs> and it only says crypto is not cryptocurrency, it refers to cryptography. So this is the biggest confusion. So when Apple releases CryptoKit, it has nothing to do in particular with cryptocurrency. It has nothing to do with Apple embracing cryptocurrencies. It has nothing to do with Apple saying, hey, now we are in crypto. It has nothing to do with Apple now being part of crypto community and supporting the crypto community or changing, or changing their stance on crypto in any way. What they have is a kit for cryptographers <laughs> okay it's a kit for cryptographers and although cryptocurrencies and cryptography are highly related and although you need cryptography to make cryptocurrencies happen of course you need hashing you need uh, public key cryptography you need you need elliptic curve cryptography all of these good things are very important at the same time that that is not really what apple is going after if you look at the documentation of what actually uh, apple crypto kit is they have some basic public key cryptography, but this public key cryptography they're using is not compatible with most blockchains. I mean, you look at the actual underlying algorithm they're using and actual underlying functionality, it doesn't have a lot to do with cryptos per se. Now, could you build a cryptocurrency using their algorithms? Absolutely. But that is not how most cryptocurrencies are laid out today. So while you could adapt a crypto for Apple, it is not vice versa. It's not happening vice versa where Apple is coming after crypto. I mean, if you want to use CryptoKit and, and do a cryptocurrency that works with CryptoKit, that is possible, but not vice versa. Do not get this twisted. So basically they say, hey, these are all the functions that we support. They do in fact support a SHA-256. So potentially you could now mine, <laughs> you could mine on your iPhone more easily because you have more, um, uh, more clear programming interfaces that developers can use. So SHA-256 is present and SHA-256 is basically what you need in order to mine. So th that is good. Maybe you can build a miner for iPhone, but they will not accept it on the app store. So <laughs> th that is not a good, good idea. And then they show, okay, here's our public key, uh, cryptography, you can store your, your keys in the secure enclave, which is basically a hardware, a hardware element, a hardware element uh, on each phone. So each iPhone, each iPhone has a, a, a so-called secure, secure enclave. Uh, that secure enclave is disconnected from the processor, which is quite important. Just like in your Ledger Nano S, you have a secure enclave with your private keys. So is with your Apple uh, iPhone, iPhone devices. They also have a secure enclave. So you can put your private keys there, which is interesting, but also it makes it a bit difficult to copy them and to back them up because you can not get them out from the secure enclave. So th that might be an issue because this whole situation is not designed for crypto. <laughs> that, that is the thing. It is not, it's not having the crypto use cases in mind. Now, could you potentially create a cryptocurrency for uh, a crypto kit and you can still make it work? Absolutely. You can make some kind of duct tape solution that make it work, that would make it work. But it is not what they're going after, uh, Apple. It, not at all. They're after cryptographers, not after crypto community. And uh, I, I think you should read about Secure Enclave. Uh, even though you might not care about app, uh, crypto kit, I think you should understand what Secure Enclave is. Basically, I, as I told you, it is this little hardware device that can interact with your CPU and it will only take the commands from the CPU. CPU will tell uh, the secure enclave, okay, sign this and the secure enclave will, will sign it, but there's no way to actually get the private key out. And also, I found this uh, interesting. So there are some people who understand it. Thank God there are some people in the crypto community who also understand it. So this is a developer, Ronald Manak, on, on Twitter saying that uh, the Ethereum community seems to be stoked about a new Apple framework called CryptoKit. And of course, this is CryptoKit. It, it is basically a library for developers that they can use. Uh, so CryptoKit is a cryptography framework, not a cryptocurrency framework. Again, guys, go to this website called uh, cryptoisnotcryptocurrency.com and you will understand that crypto is not cryptocurrency it refers to cryptography <laughs> but but now we have hijacked that brand so crypto is actually cr cryptocurrency right now in people's minds in people's minds crypto is cryptocurrencies it is not cryptography anymore but of course if you if you know what you're doing then you understand that crypto is for cryptography <laughs> uh, so he he continues uh, talking about the existence of crypto kit does not imply any change in apple's stance on cryptocurrencies apple already had the cryptography framework called common crypto so most of the functionality actually in 
CryptoKit was already present previously uh, with common crypto. And the only difference right now is that they have a few new functionalities, but the biggest difference is that this is Swift friendly. And you know that Swift is a programming language that Apple released, I think about five, maybe six years ago. It's been a while now, but it is this new programming language they released five, six years ago. And uh, a lot of libraries were still written in the old programming language called Objective-C. So you as a Swift developer, you, you had to do things in, in quite a different way when you want to interact with Objective-C libraries. It is not impossible. It's not even difficult. Like it's not even difficult to do that, but it is easier when the libraries are actually Swift compatible. So CryptoKit is actually 100% Swift compatible. Uh, and then he continues talking about the CryptoKit features don't necessarily run within the secure enclave. And, and this is what we discussed that, you know, secure enclave will be available, but CryptoKit is, um, is working across all devices. Uh, Crypt CryptoKit is working across uh, iOS devices, iPhone, iPad. It is also working across uh, Mac devices and they do not have a secure enclave. So if a secure enclave is present, uh, then CryptoKit will use it. If there is no secure enclave, then CryptoKit will use something called Keystore, and it is not this hardware device that we have been talking about. So that is important. What else do we have? Just like common crypto, CryptoKit can gracefully... Yeah, this is what we said. If there is no secure enclave, no hardware device, it will go to Keychain. Uh, so yeah, then he uh, starts talking about the fact that the curves are different. The public key cryptography is not the same, but we've already mentioned that. So that was the first topic. What is happening in the chat? I, I see the chat is going <laughs> is going wild as always. Talking about coffee shots, coffee pads, and uh, Red Bull. <laughs> <sighs> Haven't heard of it. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any questions. Before now we're getting because now we're getting in the uh, to the next topic, which is the topic of um, Facebook. The fact that uh, uh, they are very close to launching their cryptocurrency, and this is something that Facebook themselves have not been talking about, and um, uh, and we need to understand the fact that this is all for now uh, information from insiders. It is all for now information from people who have done some investigative reporting. It is all information from people who maybe have some connections but are not insiders themselves. So this is kind of like you know, friend of a friend told me that you know another friend of a friend will do this. So this is a approximately what we're talking about. But so, in this friend of a friend told me situation, Facebook plans to create independent foundation to manage its cryptocurrency and will charge members 10 million licensing fees for rights to operate nodes. So basically there is this uh, publication, The Information, and they published a report. Unfortunately, you have to pay for it as I understand. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, you have to subscribe. So uh, outlets like the blog have, uh, have summarized everything. So basically they will charge companies $10 million a piece for the privilege to run a node and node operators will also be allowed to send a representative to the independent foundation. They want to have 100 nodes, uh, basically generating 1 billion in licensing fees. So all in all guys, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say about that about this really I mean obviously this is not really going after the the core of the crypto community it's not at all compatible with what we're trying to achieve and really it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how they're gonna launch it and what's gonna happen but at the end of the day this is so different from what we're used to and this is so different from the core values that we're usually discussing in crypto and they're saying that hey you know what it could be already this month Facebook will reportedly announce cryptocurrency this <clears throat> this month allowing employees to take it as salary you know could be maybe it's once again from this the information publication uh, so who knows if they have the correct information, but I just want to update you on the fact that uh, they are working hard. It's, it seems like they are trying to push this cryptocurrency faster and faster. So let's see when it happens and let's see what kind of effect it will have on the crypto markets. I don't think it will have a lot of effect on Bitcoin because it's simply uncomparable. Two different things. It's like day and night. It might have effect on uh, things such as XRP and other projects trying to cater to the traditional finance space. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree. Okay, mad cow go going wild. Have you heard about Rivets? It's a crypto project that embeds keys into trusted secure environment uh, on Android and other non uh, Rivets. I haven't. I, I, I will check it out. Rivets. I will write it down. Rivets. Okay.
Aren't you supposed to be paid? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. See, th this is completely backwards. Uh, th this is how it usually works. You're paid to run a node because you are in a decentralized and permissionless system. In Facebook, they will have a permission-based system. So you have the privilege of running a node. I guess you will be earning transaction fees. I guess that is what you will be doing. But, you know, to pay 10 million, I don't know if it is per year or like a one-time fee, but, you know, to pay 10 million per year, you need to generate at least 11 or something to make this situation worth for you because uh, I mean normally you count with 10% uh, uh, return uh, usually when you count on investments if it is 10% then it makes sense so uh, if I would be calculating on this paying 10 million to Facebook okay as long as I can make 1 million per year back if it is 10 million uh, but then yeah if it is 10 million per, per year and I need to pay it again next year then it doesn't make sense then it doesn't make sense at all but if it is 10 million one time pay and it's 1 million per year, then it makes sense. But we'll see, we'll see. It is completely backwards, as you can see. Uh, Ivan, how fast do you think Facebook's crypto will grow? Top 10. Uh, see, I'm not sure it's gonna be listed on uh, on coin market cap. Uh, maybe it will, but I'm not sure because you don't see JP Morgan coin being listed there. Why is it so? Uh, why is it so? Because it's not really it's not really a cryptocurrency, really. So it all depends on if this cryptocurrency will be available to the public from day one. Then I think it might go pretty fast up in on coin market cap and other crypto websites because um, uh, you see they they can pay salaries in it. So I think the adoption will be quite quick because they will pay salaries. Also, as we previously discussed, they will tell all their merchants to accept it because then they will get more exposure. They will basi basically get free advertising if they have this coin, I guess. So I think the adoption will be pretty quick. Uh, this is what I would bet on because they have so much possibilities to really, really adopt this quickly. So many merchants are already advertising on Facebook. So for them to tell them, hey, use our, our currency, you will uh, get a lot of attention. Everyone will do it. I think everyone will do it. Clickbait title. It's not. It's not. It's, it, it just that you join too late. Go back and rewatch. Uh, Smash it up, yes, Oscar, smash it up, smash it up. Uh, <laughs> correct, correct. A 10 million plus presumably massive hardware cost for handling uh, Facebook's transaction throughput. I wonder what the time frame is to break even. Exactly, so th that's what I'm telling you. Uh, if it is... If it is a 10% uh, uh, return per, uh, per year, then it makes sense. But then it needs to be 10 million only one time payment and then 1 million per year I can generate. Then it makes sense. By the way, face is Facebook coin an open source project? Uh, I don't think so. I haven't seen anything. I think it is absolutely not open source. But if they have a foundation, I guess it will be open sourced when they release it. Ivan, you should list all course you will put in the academy. So uh, go to academy.ivanotech.com. You can see all our current courses. The next course will be about engine, uh, engine um, uh, and Unity. So we will be doing games in engine and then we will be integrating it into Unity. Uh, and uh, it is a very, very, very important course that we'll be making this month. And, you know, we have so many courses already in the academy. Go to academy.ivanotech.com. Uh, but other than that, we do not plan uh, further ahead. We just do, you know, one course at a time. Then we look at the community, what you guys want, and then we take the next course. So we, we and we do one course per month. But this month we actually did three. Uh, Ivan, is Git a blockchain? It's not. See, it is not a blockchain. But Git has a lot of uh, similar features to a blockchain. So that is quite interesting because in Git you also have um, uh, hashes and you also have. Uh, uh, commit. So when you uh, produce new code and you do a commit in Git, maybe you publish it to GitHub later, but in Git, it, Git is really disconnected from GitHub. So in Git, you do a commit, your commit has a hash, it is connected to the previous commits, so you have the same chain of, of uh, hashes. So it is quite interesting. It's basically a linked list of commits and they're all uh, cryptographically <clears throat> connected with hashes. But there is no proof of work and ne distributed network in the same sense. Uh, humor is <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So uh, I, I'm I, I'm from Sweden. Like I, I lived all my life in Sweden, but I was born in Belarus. How do I sign up for your courses, man? It literally says on the website. Uh, oh, sorry, on the stream. <laughs> Academy.ivontech.com. Check it out, Michael. Check it out. Check it out. I, you will love it. You will love it. Absolutely. If it's free, take a look at small uh, small print. Remember that 100% Quartic. Uh, do you do XRP? Uh, what is that? <laughs> uh, 
what he means all hodlers go back to the beginning of the video and watch the video go back and watch the video uh i don't know how many people work on the courses right now it's me philip and uh, a few other guys uh, but i work a lot on the courses because i want i, I want the courses to be uh, top notch Oh, Chrome Away. Is this the real account or is this the fake account? Uh, because there are many scammers in this space that fake accounts. Okay, how will they bring trust to this coin considering the recent news about Facebook's misuse of data? See, I, I don't think there's, it's a lot about trust, honestly. Uh, Chrome Away or Cro Cr Chromia. <laughs> I don't think it's that much about trust. It's about the fact that Facebook will tell their merchants, okay, start using the coin you will get more attention. That is it. Then merchants will start accepting the coin. Uh, you will see a circulation because, for example, uh, Facebook is paying their employees with, um, uh, with this cryptocurrency. They can buy stuff on Facebook from merchants. So you, you create this closed economy. Most people do not think about trust uh, that much, honestly. As long as the coin has um, a peg to the dollar, uh, it's, it's enough for most people. And then... I, what could potentially could happen is that they remove the peg to the dollar like in 10, 20, 30, 50 years uh, and uh, and basically detach from the dollar, creating their own economy. Like from a legal standpoint, I don't know if that is possible for them to do, but uh, theoretically, why not? Just like the dollar went off the gold standard because the dollar economy was circulating without uh, without um, without incorporating the dollar, nobody, uh, without incorporating, incorporating gold, nobody really took dollar and wanted gold for it the same can happen with facebook coin people are cir circulating facebook coin nobody really wants the dollars anymore so they could detach absolutely uh can we pay rent with facebook coin see if if the renters uh if the land landlords see that hey it is easy to accept uh, it's easy to connect my facebook instagram whatsapp profile to it why not look at wechat how much wechat pay is being used in asia uh and uh, in that sense i absolutely do think that you will be able to pay your rent with facebook coin and i think it is one of their most important strategies right now they need to get uh, uh, landlords they need to get grocery sh shops all of these different merchants to start accepting the coin so that is why i think we absolutely might see that and pretty quickly by the way uh expert uh scarecrow he is outstanding in this field uh scarecrow i, I don't know what you mean Scar scaring away cra crowds I, I i guess it's good <laughs> i i guess it's good <laughs> um was belarus so yeah I, I gotta watch the final episode was it affected absolutely it was absolutely affected uh so th that is why you don't buy food from southern belarus because it is radiation so you know just keep that in mind if you go to those places and you know some people actually want to go to chernobyl i have zero interest in going there like i i know some people from the from the europe and the us they think it's exciting but you know being from belarus I, I i'm not really that excited but what do you want to see there like watch the watch the tv series you will see everything uh, and who knows how much radiation it is there but it is interesting now with this tv series everyone wants to go there uh, I, i've actually seen many people on, on on the internet like hey let's go to chernobyl like to me it's completely insane why, why would you do that do you accept crypto? Yes. So go to uh, cryptopay.ivanotech.com. Will you dare to predict the Bitcoin for the end of the month? Oof, good question. Good question. Good question. Okay, not financial advice, uh, but I think Bitcoin at the end of this month will be at uh, uh, at 10k. I, I think it's completely possible. 10k. Uh, like. <laughs> Really, who knows about this? Nobody can predict the markets. Nobody can predict the markets. Uh, I'm just looking at the strength of the market and really comparing it to the last bear market, 2013, 14, 15, where I really monitored the markets basically every day because I was <laughs> I entered at the top in 2013 and then I basically followed the entire bear market day by day by day. Is 10k this month possible? Absolutely. Uh, no, no question about that. But you know, 3k is also possible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think WeChat Tencent will be interested in applying private public blockchain technology since they are already giants and achieved huge adoption? Uh, I don't know if it is in their interest. Like, why would they? I, I think, you know, 
they might be interested in launching their own crypto, but they're so tied to the government, and I, I'm not sure, it, they need to check with the government, really. Uh, when you speak about WeChat and Tencent, I think you're forgetting the most important piece, maybe, the fact that they have uh, representatives on the board, and uh, if uh, they're all in agreement, then uh, <laughs> then maybe. But uh, what is the real what is the real idea? Because at the end of the day, it's all about control. So, uh, for example, WeChat Pay and all of these electronic payments is all about control of the people. Like it's even more control than the banking system. Because because there at least you have different banks, you can have different bank accounts, and you can go to different institutions. Here, everyone is just using WeChat because it's so easy. So I, I don't know if it is. Uh, if it is, if it makes sense for them, cesium one three seven has ten thousand years exactly. So maybe in ten thousand years we can go back there. <laughs> Uh, you're able to rent living spaces, sell, uh, cool, yeah, cool, nice. I think real world adoption of cryptocurrency will drive more force to the space. Uh, hey man, I, st uh, you have been talking about this enough, okay man, like I've been seeing this 10 times now. Uh, have you heard a new exchange called Mandala? Uh, I haven't, I haven't. Maybe we should add it to exchange ratings, Mandala, I, I will add it to exchange ratings. Do you think global warming is a scam? Uh, see, I'm not a scientist, but uh, scientists are pretty in agreement that uh, it's not a scam. <laughs> but I don't know, you listen to Alex Jones, Flat Earth guys, you can you can start believing all kinds of things. Uh, but really, I'm, I'm not the right guy to ask about the global warming. But uh, according to the research, it's not a scam, okay? But if you talk to Alex Jones, if Alex Jones calls you, you will probably believe it's a scam. By the way, guys, uh, it's actually interesting. Let me know in the comments if you think that global warming is a scam. Let me know if you believe in chemtrails. Let me know if you believe in flat earth. L let's just do a poll. What kind of people do we have watching? <laughs> right in the comment section, okay? The only problem with BTC is that it's rooted in a corrupt fiat system. Uh, how do you mean? How do you mean? You know, go and watch Infrastructure Inversion by Andreas Antonopoulos and you will understand why it is so important with uh, being able to integrate with old infrastructure until new infrastructure replaces the old infrastructure. How big share of overall de developer time is focused on infrastructure and protocol versus applications? Uh, Oscar, I have no idea, but I think protocol is way more. Protocol is way more. <laughs> okay, here it comes, here it comes. Earth is flat. Chemtrail, yes, flat Earth. Global warming isn't a scam. A scam. It's, diff uh, it's not, just not, could be, you know, could be. Like, I, I'm not a scientist on this. I, I'm just curious what you guys uh, are thinking. Gre greetings from crypto land, Estonia. Nice, shout out. Uh, flat Earth, Ivan is Illuminati. Yeah, so you see, collaborating with Soros, that, that is what we do here. So Soros and Ivan on tech, we're, we're, we're part of Bilderberg, and by the way, Alex Jones is also part, so we, we're all collaborating, okay? Uh, no scam, <laughs> I'm global warmest, nice. <laughs> uh, Earth is giant, gi yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, before we go too much of track, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for being on the show, on the stream. Hope you learned something, hope you understood uh, what I was talking about uh, with Apple, with Facebook, with adoption. I really had a nice chat here in the, <laughs> in the chat as well. See, this is why I love crypto, guys, you, you guys are crazy. Uh, Ivan Shill on tech. Yeah, so see, the thing I'm shilling right here is the academy. And if you go to academy.ivanontech.com, you have to enroll because we have so many courses coming out and really we release one course per month. And you can see we have all of these courses right now. Lightning network development, Bitcoin programming, how blockchain and Bitcoin works, how Ethereum. I mean, all of these courses are really in depth. You really spend 10 hours of video. We, we have 10 hours of video content for basically each course. It takes months to complete all of this and we're doing one course per month. So next month we will be doing uh, engine programming. So I'm absolutely shilling this academy. It is the best thing this world has seen. Best thing since sliced bread, okay? Uh, Oscar, nice, 20 siak. Thank you so much, Oscar. Big shout out to you. Big shout out to Nova Exchange. Guys, smash the like, smash, sh smash the bell. I'll see you all tomorrow, 8 a.m. Have a great day and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye.